level here with Mark Ionics, we're going to go over uh, some tips and operational uh, uh, hints on the GX8500 series uh, powder gun from Mark Ionics. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and first turn on the controller. And what you hear when it first turns on is a bunch of clicks. That is the needle valves setting themselves and then resetting themselves so they know where they're at. So don't worry about that clicking noise when you first start up. The, uh, the unit also goes through a complete self-check on startup. So once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and go through the controls. Okay, so the GX8500A series equipment comes uh, complete with our GX385A controller. And what we'll do is we're going to go through some of the features on the controller. Obviously, this is the power on and off button. Um, this is recipes. We can click through any number of different recipes. Up to 250 can be programmed. And there's a quick select here. These three are the first three recipes, so you don't have to hunt. If you're on recipe 48 for some reason and you want to go back to recipe 1, I'll just run this up. Let's say you're on 31 and you want to go back to recipe 1, you just click that and you're back on recipe 1. Right here is your pulse power, super pulse power selection button. Your first choice is A mode, and that's for everything or almighty mode when you're spraying flat panels or non-complex shapes. The next selection is F for Faraday mode. That's if you're doing a lot of Faraday cages, it sets up the pulse power to optimize for Faraday cages. Your third choice is R for recoding. If you're putting a second coat on, uh, our coating's perfect for you. It's designed for that second coat. And then if you click it one more time, you notice all these lights go out. That's telling us that we're in conventional charging mode. We're not in pulse power charging mode. So for the part we're going to paint today, we're going to do it in the F mode because we got some Faraday's on it. Over here, this is your KV setting. With Parker Ionics pulse power, you always leave your KV on 100. You don't have to drop your KV down to 40 or 50 to do Faraday's. All the magic happens with the pulse power feature. Uh, with the uh, microamps, we're going to control our microamps down about 20 microamps. You can actually run with pulse power up to 35 microamps. But we like to clip it a little bit, get down to 20 microamps. But you just move it up and down here with these buttons. Over here, we're in MPA mode. Okay, You see the MPA is lit up. That means we're in independent main air and independent supplemental air mode. So this, this here, the FM, we can change up or down. FM controls your powder flow. That's how much powder comes out of the gun. Your FS, or supplemental air, is air that's added in downstream of the pump, but it adds velocity and volume into the hose so it prevents uh, settling out and surges. Uh, so, we also have a purge mode here. This purges full line purge right from the pump all the way to the gun. It's not really recommended for white to black color changes. We still want you to do that the manual way. But if you start to see a little surging or, or uh, any kind of issues, you hit that and that clears all the lines. So that's really it. My starting point that I like on the uh, GX385A controller is about 0.1 on my main air, FM and it's about 0 0.05 on my FS. That gets me what I consider to be a real nice powder cloud. And what we're going to do now next is show you what that powder cloud looks like and then what the various changes to FM and FS do to the spray pattern. Okay, so this is what uh, your spray pattern is looking like with a 0.1 and a 0 0.05 on the FS. Nice gel flow. I know it doesn't look like a lot of powder, but with pulse power, this is enough. You'll lay down powder uh, very easily at this rate. Now we're going to take the gun up to 0.2 and show you double the powder flow. Okay, so now we're at 0.2. You can see we're getting a lot more power out. We're getting a little bit of a heavy buildup in the middle there. And so that would tell you you want to use just a little bit more FS if you go up to 0.2 on the FM. So I'm going to set that now. Okay, so we moved the FS up to 0.1, and you can see that we've lost that heaviness, a little bit of the heaviness in the middle. 
but this is still a lot of powder. I'm going to take it up to 0.3 so you can see uh, just how much 0.3 is. Now you can see us. This is at 0.3. We got quite a bit of powder coming out. Again, it's a fine black powder, so we're not going to have a big dark, dark cloud. But that's 0.3. That's really fire hosing. Yeah, I'm going to show you what a, how much powder we lay down at that 0.3 setting here. All right, now we're going to set it down to point 0.1. All right, so now we're at point 0.1 on the FM, which is a, a relatively low setting, as you saw. We're going to go ahead and apply powder now. So you can see we're depositing less, but you don't see a lot of powder blowing by here. So as long as you can afford a little bit of time, you can get really high transfer efficiency. As I say at point one. Now I'm going to clean it off and we're going to show you point two. All right, now we're going to be uh, putting out at point two on our FM. Now you can see a little bit more blow by our target. Not a lot, but a little bit more. But you can also see we're laying down powder a little bit quicker.